Hi everyone, welcome to class today. We will be doing a 20 minute restorative yoga session. So I've got two um, blankets here with me. If you don't have these particular blankets, you can use any kind of either really thick towel or thin-ish blanket. So it's about, <clears throat> let me just show you here how big it is. It's not super big but anything that you can kind of fold up to give you a little more padding, a little more support. You can even use some pillows, whatever is easiest to grab. And we'll go ahead and get started. So you can choose to use a mat. Um, if it's not as easy to get down and up from the floor, then feel free to practice on a bed. Um, usually beds are a little cushier than the floor, so that changes things just a tad. But as always, it's just really about what is more supportive to you, what feels better for your body, and really what's more accessible. So find your way to wherever you want to be. Grab a couple pillows, towels, blankets, whatever that is for you. And we'll start all the way down in the back. If you want to use one of those um, props underneath the head for kind of like a little pillow, you can start there. And we'll start with the back down with the knees bent. Hands can rest wherever it's comfortable. Maybe hands rest on the belly. Maybe they rest out to the side. Really up to you. Take these first few breaths to kind of transition, move from whatever it is that you were just doing and coming on to this mat or bed and, and really knowing that these next 20 minutes or so are just for you. It's just a time for you to pause, to find some relaxation, to maybe rest the body a little bit. Start to find a rhythm of your breath that feels nice today. Maybe that means you inhale for a count of two or four and exhale for that same count. Maybe it means something completely different. If you're looking for a little extra relaxation, you can take your exhales longer than your inhales. But again, it's all about what feels good for your body today. few more breaths. Good. From here, you're going to take your right knee in towards your chest. So maybe the hands come behind the thigh, maybe they come to the shin. And you can do a couple things here. You can keep that left leg where it is, or if you want, you can straighten the left leg out. Any of these options are great. It's really about what's most restful for you. So where you can kind of come to and allow the body to soften. We're doing some gentle stretches for the legs today and the lower body. Just keep that breath going. And if you've never done a restorative practice before, we hold each shape a little bit longer than our um, other yoga practices. So traditionally it's between three to five minutes for each shape, but maybe we'll take about two to three minutes for each shape here today. So we're about halfway done on this side. See if you can soften shoulders, jaw, maybe give the toes a little wiggle, make sure the legs are soft. Good. 
Good, about five more breaths. Great, release that right foot back to the mat. If the left leg is long, go ahead and re-bend that knee, bring the feet to the mat again. And we'll just take a little rock side to side. Doesn't have to be a big movement. We're not going fast, just gentle and slow. Good. And then we're gonna come back to center, take that left leg in, same options here. So maybe hands behind the thigh, maybe on the shin, maybe that right leg just kind of stays bent wherever it is. If you choose, you can also take the right leg long. And just settle in. So if you go to a place, maybe you take that leg out and after a few breaths, you feel like that's a little bit too much of stretch, just return it back to that bent knee. Listen to the body. Do what's right for you today. Eyes can be closed. Whatever feels most restful. Just keep that gentle breath going. Gentle and slow. And as we start to slow down our movement or maybe become more still, sometimes the mind likes to wander. Just know that that's normal. And when you notice your thoughts kind of going off, either somewhere in the future or in the past, see if you can find your way back to your breath. Sometimes counting the breath can be helpful. Inhale one, exhale one. Or maybe you just connect to the rise and fall of the belly. About five more breaths on this side. Good. Take that left foot back to meet the mat. Knee bent. Right knee rebends. And again, we'll take a little rock side to side. Good. So let's do another stretch here. You're going to take your right angle to your left thigh. This might feel great. Maybe you feel a bit of a stretch, but not too much. Again, we kind of want to be a little bit to the inside of that deep stretch here for our restorative postures. If you feel like you would like a little more stretch, you can take the hand behind the thigh or even to the shin. And again, we'll stay here for a couple minutes. But if at any point in time you feel the need to move or shift, always feel free to do so. As you pause here for longer, you might feel those kind of stretching sensations begin to subside slightly. Maybe it's not as intense of a feeling anymore. And just let that be. Kind of resist the urge to go deeper, to continue to find that same amount of sensation. Just allow yourself to settle in right here, right now. Shoulders soften, jaw softens, about halfway through. About five more breaths. Good. 
and then slowly take both feet again to meet the mat add a little rock if that feels nice and when you're ready we'll go into the other side so now left ankle comes to that right thigh again take your time one side usually feels different especially in these shapes so maybe this side prefers staying right here if you want to give it a try maybe you hug the leg in bring the hands behind the thigh or to the front of the shin and if you choose this kind of hugging in option be aware of the shoulder sometimes they like to kind of ride up towards the ears um, biceps are definitely doing some work as we're kind of pulling the leg in but the shoulders can be soft and don't really have to work too hard but if you feel like that's distracting and it is hard work for you just release it and bring that foot back to the floor it can feel really nice to just allow yourself to relax not always working so hard not always going the farthest that you can possibly go just resting just pausing just breathing About five more minutes on this, sorry, five more breaths on this side. And then slowly releasing, bringing those legs again to rock side to side. Good. From here, we'll do one more stretch. So I'm going to give you two options. Maybe option one is bring the feet out wide, wider than the hips, and let the knees rest in towards each other. If you want some more stretch or opening for the hips, you're going to take the soles of the feet together and out to the sides. This is So this might feel like a really deep stretch. If you've got that pillow or blanket or blankets nearby, you can take that blanket and bring it underneath the thigh, the outer thigh, and that will just add some extra support. So that can feel really nice. So I'm going to add those in here. Again, sometimes we are always working the hardest we can possibly work, or we're always pushing ourselves to that um, edge. But it can really be very rewarding to have some extra support to take an extra rest to help refuel you to renew you so as you find your shape settling in here taking that long slow inhale and long slow exhale jaw neck softens shoulders soften palms soften if you notice that the mind continues to wander which it will Sometimes having a mantra can help anchor you here. So you can use the words, I am here, just as a reminder, kind of an easy repeated phrase, I am here. I am here. Reminding yourself that you are present on your mat or in your bed. 
with your body and your breath. About halfway there. Five more breaths. Very nice. Taking the hands to those outer thighs if the knees are wide and slowly help those legs come back to center. Shifting into your most comfortable position here. So maybe that means legs are straight. Maybe that means you roll to the side. Maybe you add that pillow underneath the head if it's not already there. Getting nice and comfortable for our last few minutes here. Hands again can rest wherever comfortable for the shoulders and elbows, wrists. Maybe taking the exhale a little bit longer. A softening, softening. Feel free to stay here as long as you'd like. Thank you for practicing with me today.